Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Well, I had to bring you a horror Christmas book review. <laughs> As everybody knows, I am into horror, ghost hunting, the paranormal, as I'm a paranormal investigator for, for Tony Hinley's amazing paranormal company, Supernatural Diaries. So, I have horror Halloween all year round. To me, it makes no difference. It's not just set to October. So, I had a lovely friend in the colouring community, Emma, tell me about the beauty of horror Christmas book. And I thought, just have to get it. So, this is the beauty of horror Ghosts of Christmas by Alan Robert. It's a holiday spectacular book. Now, it is a lot smaller than I expected. Um, if I put this against, say, a Kirby book, you can tell the size difference there. So I wasn't aware that they were small, like, but that doesn't bother me at all. But I've been told since that the special edition ones like this are a lot smaller than the normal beauty colouring books. So we've got this beautiful gold and red gilding all along the front of the book and it makes it just that look a bit special. And then you have another illustration on the back. Um, they do have a Facebook, which is facebook.com, The Beauty of Horror, The Beauty of Horror.com, and idwpublishing.com. And that's who published the book. So let's dive into the book, shall we? So this is the first page a holiday spectacular book, and a nice little horror reef there. <laughs> Let me just have a look at this light in a second, one moment. The white, white balance is terrible. There we go, that's better. Okay, so let's just come a bit closer so you can see. So then we have a division idea and design works that is the publishing and it's copyright and it was made in 2018 by Alan Robert. It says Emma similaris to persons living or dead are purely coincidental. <laughs> With the exception of the artwork used and reviewed purposes, none of the contents publication may be reprinted without the permission of idea and design works, submission of ideas, stories and artwork. So please do not take any shots of this and try and use them on the internet. So here you have your name page. Just got this wonderful zombie looking girl sat there. And the little dolls. Now I know horror is not for everyone in the colouring community. But there is people out there that are like me that love horror. So this would be a perfect thing. There's, I've got friends that have horror Christmas trees like... The Corpse Bride or they'll have the pumpkin, everything all over the Christmas trees. It's ace. I love it. <laughs> so in these boots, a bit like Kirby's boots, really, they've got, can you find Galinda's lost presents? And then there's going to be hidden somewhere in the book. And then a bit of a story. quite like that actually Twas the night before christmas when all through the house many creatures were stirring i think one ate a mouse limb filled stockings hung by corpses with cur gulina tied santa to his favorite red chair she screamed now dasher now dancer now prancing and vixen tonight is the night we spread our affliction with a wink of her eye and a twist of his head poor old saint nick was surely quite dead he spoke not a word she went right to work dismantling Christmas with a smile and a smirk. She sprung in his sleigh and drove out of sight half a Christmas to all, to all a good fright. <laughs> I love that. Then we have another reef. The North Pole. A nice gravestone there. Nice evil Santa. <laughs> This always reminds me of Slimer off Ghostbusters. <laughs> I love how they're all single-sided, so you get his illustration on the back. So if you could 
to use Max and stuff. I've not done a media test on this book. Um, but it does seem quite thick. <laughs> a jack-in-the-box, but a horrible jack-in-the-box. You're definitely screaming for all the right reasons. Oh, lovely snow globe. I can't wait to have a go at one of these. And she's definitely a corpse bride. Nice limbs there for Christmas. <laughs> that reminds me of The Walking Dead where they took off Herschel's head. Such a sad, sad episode that was. But that just reminds me of that. <laughs> nice little wallpaper effect one as I call them. <laughs> tickles her oh it's so funny look at his face <laughs> she's like ha, 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 with the knife in her hand and a nice evil snowman and then a skeleton reindeer poor santa's tied up again and there's the christmas tree see people have christmas trees like this they really really do at christmas <laughs> Merry Creepmas! <laughs> that is cool. So a box of nice creepy presents. They're just really good drawings though. They're small but they're really good drawings. <laughs> For Santa, is not your normal average Santa, is he? They're having a nice play on the roof. Bigfoot, Santa, uh, Bigfoot skeleton Santa. I don't know if what that's supposed to be. Loves these octopuses coming out, doesn't he? <laughs> bad Santa. That is the definition of bad Santa. <whistles> nice wallpaper effect. <laughs> Naughty gingerbread. Maybe one year they'll bring the naughty gingerbread out instead of naughty elves. I'm going to have to change it at some point because we've all got to the end with all these ideas. I don't think we can bring any more out. Here's a lovely Christmas tree again. And then a create your own page. And then possessed with your palette. So if you use any palettes within the page you want to keep, you can just swatch it out here and then there's just little postcards of what's in the where the presents are i'm not going to say where they are because that'll spoil it if anyone buys it so here's another story and it says silent night deadly night all is wrong all is not right screams can be heard from santa's workshop afar where undead elves pack and trails into jars snowflakes fall and cover their tracks Underneath the white blanket lies a red bloody axe. Rudolph and friends will long be remembered, lying in the halls with their heads mounted and se severed. Galena has her list and she's checking it twice. If you've been good, you'll pay the price. <laughs> the naughty ones will rule Christmas Eve because Galena has some more tricks up her sleeve. Now she's off to create her next haunted mess where she ends up is anybody's guess. <laughs> So that's the book and it's a really good book and I actually really like it and I will be colouring in it and I will be uploading something on my channel from out of this book. I might not get to do loads in it because I've obviously got other commitments through the months as well. So do check out my other reviews on my channel in the playlist and give me a lovely feedback comment below. I really would appreciate it and then thumbs up. I'd really much love for them. Thank you very much and goodbye on this review and I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone.